Hey there, welcome back. It's Cindy Courtney, your independent Sensi consultant, and today I'm here with you to share all of my April empties. I saved all the clamshells that I've gone through, as well as some other Sensi products that I used up, and I thought I'd share them as I have been doing. Try to continue on with doing this every month so you can see what I use up in a month and what scents that I like and get some ideas of what Sensi has to offer hair on my face <laughs> okay so let's get started with the bars of wax I went through quite a bit of wax and that's because I've been trying to downsize my stash that I have I have a lot of bars with only two or three cubes left in it and I've been trying to use those up and one way that I've done that is by mixing them with some other bars so I'll show you which bars I mixed together and which ones that I did all by themselves so in no particular order let's get started the first one that I have here is lime and sugar cane and this was a wonderful scent. Everyone in my house liked it. Even when the, the kids had some friends over, they liked this scent too. They said it smelled like lime candies. And it's definitely a strong lime scent with a soft, sugary note underneath from the sugar cane. So if you like lime, this one be, would be a great one for you. I'm thinking of mixing this one next time when I get it again with sweet cucumber because I really miss the lime and cucumber scent. So I'm going to give that a try and, and let you guys know how it works. The next one that I used up is Mariposa Lily. And this is a new scent. It's new in the spring and summer catalog. And I love this scent. It is a floral scent with a little fruity undernote. And it's just a really nice girly feminine scent. It would be great in the bedroom or um, I used it all over my house. Um, and I loved that scent. Next, we have a, another new release, and this is Flower Child. This is in the, new to the spring and summer catalog, and I loved the scent. It reminds me of a perfume that I have. Um, it's just a very nice feminine floral scent again. It's not as strong as I would like it once I warmed it, but it is a good scent. So this is Flower Child. And then another one that I used up for my stash that I have is called Davenport, and it was a blue wax. This is a great, clean spa scent. It almost smells like a unisex cologne also, where a girl or a guy could wear it, because it does have like some cologne undernotes to me. It smells a little bit like that, but it was a nice, fresh spa scent. It's strong, it lasts a long time. And this was available in a fall and winter catalog, and it's my last bar of it, so I'm really sad that this one's gone. But I think a good replacement for it would be the brick that we have, the solar driftwood um, in Bergamont. So I might have to pick one of those up because we do have a few bricks still available. All right, the next one that I used is another new release, and it is Lemon Time Berry. And I used this at one of my Scentsy parties that I had, and everyone loved it. It smells like a fruit lemonade, like a fruity lemonade, strawberry or a raspberry even. You can smell the lemon and then the berry under notes. I don't really smell the thyme too much. Um, I smell more of the lemon and the berry, but this is a good one. Okay, and then I also used up another ivy and water lily. This was April scent of the month. This is again another good spa um, scent good for the bathroom or your bedroom. Um, it has like an aquatic note in it with some floral. It's just a really good scent. Everyone who smelled it has loved it. I haven't come across anyone who didn't like it. Okay, then another new release. I have a lot of new releases because back in February, consultants were able to buy all the re new releases in a bundle, and I did that, so I've been trying them all out to let you all know what I think of them and which ones smell like what. But next we have Custard Apple, and it smells just like its name. It's a nice apple scent, so if you like the apple scents, this would be a good one for you. It has a soft vanilla undernote in it to make it that custard, I think. So this is a good one. They're all pretty good. Next I have Skinny Dippin', and this is from the classic section in our catalog. It's usually in every catalog. Every catalog I've ever been a part of, Skinny Dippin' has been in it. And it's a nice tropical scent, but it's a different tropical scent. There's a warm undernote to it that just gives it a nice different scent. So this is a fun one, Skinny Dippin', if you like tropical scents. And then there was one, two bars 
that I, uh, in the new releases that I just did not like. They weren't for me. Maybe they'll be for you. But I didn't think that they lasted very long. Um, and so what I ended up doing was mixing some bars with these two. And the first one is Aloha Citrus. When you smell it on cold, it smells great. You can smell the citrus and the floral in it. But when you warmed it, uh, it didn't last very long. I think it would only last a couple hours, honestly. Um, and so what I did the next time I used it, because I wanted to use it up, is I mixed it with Tangelo. This was a Bring Back My Bar that was available in January. The next Bring Back My Bar is available next month. So if you want to know which bars made it back, get a hold of me and I can let you know which ones those are. But this one um, is a nice citrus scent as well. So I thought it would help strengthen the Aloha Citrus. And it worked well together. The Aloha Citrus went away quicker than the Tangelo, but it was a great scent. So that's an idea for you out there is to mix some scents together and create your own smell. And then the other one that I wasn't too fond of was Passion Fruit Colada. I was hoping it would be more like Paradise Punch, a strong, in-your-face, fruity scent. And it just wasn't very strong for me, not as strong as I like. I like it to be really strong. So what I did when I used up the rest of it was mix it with Sparkling Black Plum, because I had a couple cubes of this left over from the Fall and Winter catalog, and I love this one. Sparkling Black Plum, you can smell the plum. Um, almost, it smells kind of like Kool-Aid with like seltzer water in it. You, you can smell the bubbles, I swear. It smells so good. So, And this one actually is in the clearance section, so I've picked up a couple extras because I really like this scent. So what I did was I mixed it with the passion fruit colada, and it really helped it to be stronger and create a different scent that was a combination of these two. So, And again, the, black plum, the sparkling black plum lasted longer than the passion fruit colada but mixed together they smelled awesome so those were the bars that i used up in the month of april i also used a couple more items the first one oops sorry about that the first one that i used up is this laundry liquid in cotton clean coconut cotton excuse me coconut cotton i love this scent and i love the laundry liquid i also had the washer whiffs and the dryer discs, but um, I used those up sooner than I used this one up. Um, so you only need a couple pumps. It pumps into your laundry, and you only need about five pumps is what I do for a, a really large load because it's super concentrated, and it works great. It makes your laundry smell awesome, and it helps, and it cleans it really well, too. So I used one of these laundry liquids up, and then I have two car bar, what Sensi calls car bars, they are for your car. They're kind of like our scent circles, but they last a lot longer. They last up to 30 days, some of them even longer. So this one was my, I took this one out in March when I hung this one up. This one was Snowberry, which is a um, fall and winter scent. So it's a great winter berry scent, which I loved. And then the one that I used in April is Luna, which was amazing. I really love this one. It made my car smell so good and it lasted a really long time. You can still smell it now. So what it is, it has this elastic band here with the name of your scent on it so that you can hang it over your mirror. And then this part is made of a rubber that's full of the oils of the scent. So um, they are released in your car for up to 30 days. The one that I have in my car now is Sweet Cucumber. So next time I'll be showing you that one. But if you're looking for an alternative for in your car to smell amazing, these car bars work great. So... Those are my empties for the month of April. We are now in May. I know it's um, middle of May now. It took me a few t tries to get this video going each time something happened to the footage. So I hope you enjoy what I shared with you. And until my next video, have a sensational day. Bye.